So if I put a bend in the four like this, everyone can see it. And that'll allow you to see the exact moment when the card rises to the top. Okay? Watch very carefully. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. See? All right. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, thank Emma. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, and one more thing. Here's your watch. So you guys can ask Emma about this later. I stole her watch uh, earlier, but she didn't notice it. Right, Emma? Did you notice it? No, she had no idea. What interests me most about magic, why I think it's really cool, is what it tells us about the human mind. Magic is about manipulating minds. It's about manipulating how we perceive the world, the decisions we make, how we remember things. Magicians and magic in general, it has a way of exploiting these little wormholes in our brain. And these are things that affect how we see and how we behave on a day-to-day -day basis, whether in life or relationships or business, family. I like magic above all because of this. Now, how many people heard, have heard of that famous gorilla experiment? You know, where they, they show a video, right? They show a video of people passing a ball around and they ask people to count the number of passes, but what they don't say is that this gorilla, a woman in a gorilla suit, walks in front of everyone, way, you know, beats her chest and then walks off stage. It turns out that most people don't see the gorilla because they're focused on the passing game. Now, a while ago, as I was investigating the world of magic and misdirection, I did an experiment at the um, new school in New York in the lab of Arian Mack, who's an expert in what's called inattentional blindness, this inability to see things when we're distracted. And we did this, just this. We brought people in off the streets. I don't know why they agreed to come in. But, uh, and we stole their watches. We distracted them. And I stole their watches using sleight of hand. And what we found was that more than about 80% of people did not notice when we stole their watches right, right off their wrists, which is surprising, right? You think this is something that you would notice, but you don't. And this comes down to the fact that humans are not very good at multitasking. And there are all these things that escape our attention when we're focused on one thing. The problem is we don't, we're not aware of the things we're not aware of, and as a result, we tend to overestimate our powers of observation. Inattentional blindness is why you shouldn't drive while talking on a phone, right? It's not, as is commonly believed, because your hands are busy. It's because your mind is busy. And when your mind is occupied with something else, in this case, you know, talking on the phone, you literally might see something with your eyes, but not with your mind. And this is called, this is a blindness, a cognitive blindness, as opposed to, say, a perceptual blindness.